Hello. Hello. My name is Pedro Mojani, class 3 slash 1, number 30. My name is Natamun EMC, class 3 slash 1, number 36. My name is Pasira Ukkel, class 3 slash 1, number 44. Today we are going to do an experiment about how fertilizer affects the rate of growth of duckweed. So let's go! So first, we're going to show you about our equipment and chemical substance. The first one is measuring cup. We use 1000 ml. And the second one is containers. We use six containers. The third one is teaspoon. Next, fertilizer. This one is dog weeds for experiment. And the last one is water. Okay, the first one we will set two containers in each experiment and we will get um, 1000 milliliter of water in each container. One will continue with fertilizer, but another will not. So we will add a fertilizer for one teaspoon. Add five duck weeds in each container. For the fourth step, we will observe the amount of growing duck weed once in a day at 7 p.m. and we will do this for 10 days. So the last step is to do the same experiment to check the result. Let's see the result. Okay, so now we have already done our experiment for 10 days. Now let's see our result. After we have already done our experiment, we have put the information into a graph. And this is the graph for trail 1. We use the different colors to represent different containers in trail one. So from the slope and from the graph, we can see that in the first five days, both of them grow the same, which is they didn't grow. So the amount of the duck weeds stay the same as the first day. After that, when it comes to day six, they have grown differently in a different way. So the container that doesn't contain any fertilizer has grown into seven but the one that contained fertilizer didn't grow so after days and days they have grown differently and by day 10 which is the last day of our experiment we can see that there is a big difference between these two information the container that doesn't contain fertilizer is the purple line and we can see that this line comes to 10 amounts of duckweeds, 10 duckweeds. But for container that contain fertilizer, it's still the same as day one, which is five. This is a graph of trail two. Yellow light is without fertilizer and pink light is with fertilizer. The container that is without fertilizer, on the first day, they are five duckweeds and day one to day four it still have a mouth on beginning which is five duck weeds it start in case on day five to day ten and finally day ten it has increased into 16 duck weeds next is the container that is with fertilizer on the first day there are five duck weeds and day ten to day six there are still have a mouth of five duck weeds it starts in case on day 7 to day 10 and finally day 10 it have increased into 6 duck meat. This graph has two lines. The one with fertilizer is the red one and without fertilizer is the purple one. So this graph shows us that the container with fertilizer the leaves out is the same as it began and didn't grow. The slope is zero. And the container that have no fertilizer in the same in the first four days is still the same. 
and start to go in day 5 and continue growing to day 10. By day 10, they have 13 of the weeds. The slope of the weed with fertilizer is 0 0.03 and the slope of the weed without fertilizer is 0 0.8. From the experiment, we can found that the rate of duckweed that without fertilizer get higher than the one that has fertilizer. From the result, we can see that the result is opposite from the hypothesis that we made earlier. This is because uh, actually fertilizers have mineral salts that are essential to plants, but when we use fertilizers, we need to concern about other factors. For example, the first one is about the type. We need to use the type of fertilizers that are appropriate to the type of plants that we are growing. And the second one is about the concentration of the fertilizers. The amount of fertilizer needs to appropriate to the plant, and when you use the fertilizer, you should be careful. Thank you for watching. Goodbye! Thank <laughs> you.